Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and we are talking about lichen sclerosis and the ways to treat it. Some of you provide me with treatment options I haven't heard before, so I decided to dedicate two videos to these treatment options. So let's start with oral treatment for lichen sclerosis. I've been approached by one of my lovely subscribers and he asked me to find some information about several oral treatment options. Interesting thing that during my research I found out that oral treatment for lichen sclerosis is not that popularized. At the moment the studies suggest that topical treatment for lichen sclerosis gives less side effects, especially when it concerns skin thickening or hyperkeratosis, topical treatment is more well tolerated and effective. But you have to understand that in general, oral treatment for lichen sclerosis is not that well researched for now. So let's dive into it. I found the scrape of an article from Oregon Health and Science University in Portland from April 2024, which claims that the low dosage of oral methotrexate helped to reach certain improvements in three cases of genital lichen sclerosis. The cases were severe, and the improvements were reached just in 12 weeks. But we have to say here that the control group consisted only of three female patients with severe lichen sclerosis. You can see the link to this article and every other article I will mention in this video down below in the description. What is methotrexate? It's an immune suppressant. As we know, every autoimmune condition starts when the body's immune system mistakes its own cells for viruses or bacteria or any other dangerous things and starts fighting against them. This fight usually causes constant inflammation. Methotrexate slows down our body's reaction and usually helps reduce swelling or inflammation. But please, before you even consider taking this medicine, go to your healthcare provider and ask them if it's a good idea. Because I'm not a medical professional, I'm just a patient with lichen sclerosis who researches and studies all the possible treatment options. So please note that I don't recommend you to take any medications on your own. Another article states that in seven cases of lichen planus, and it's the similar condition to lichen sclerosis, and I put the link to my video about differences between lichen planus and lichen sclerosis down below in the video description, methotrexate was used a single oral dose 15 milligrams per week in four patients and then 20 milligrams per week in seven patients. Improvements in mucocutaneous lesions in pruritus was noted within the first month in all 11 patients. Complete response to the medicine was achieved in 10 patients just at the end of the first month of treatment. But please bear in mind that people with increased body mass index can be in danger while taking this medicine because it was associated with high liver toxicity. Another one important warning. Methotrexate may cause very serious life-threatening side effects. Many researchers think that you have to take this medicine only in cancer cases or certain other conditions that are so severe that they cannot be treated with other medications. And once again, if you're considering methotrexate as a possible treatment option for your lichen sclerosis case, please go to your health provider and ask them about the possible side effects for you. While researching this topic, I also find a case of lichen sclerosis, which was treated with oral methylprednisolone, which is corticosteroid, and topical clobetazole. Patient reached complete remission, as the article says, but please bear in mind that we are talking now about hyperkeratosis and all oral treatment options which I will discuss in this video will unfortunately go only to the thickening of the skin. I was also asked to find the correlation between lichen sclerosis and oral otesla or apremilase. It's in another immune suppressant drug. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any cases administering this drug with lichen sclerosis, but you have to know that this drug is being used 
primarily against psoriasis, which is kind of a dermatitis, so potentially this drug can be used in lichen sclerosis cases. It was and it still is being considered as a potential oral treatment for lichen sclerosis because it targets precisely T cells, that very cells that are killing our skin because of our autoimmune condition. So yeah, guys, if you want to take part in any research of the potential treatment for lichen sclerosis, you can type into Google, find some medical trials or medical research groups and take part, enter in the control groups for some medications that are being explored for potential treatment of lichen sclerosis. But before doing that, please be aware of possible side effects. And the last treatment oral option I was asked to look into are oral retinoids. Retinoids do not suppress the immune system, which is their obvious pro. The drug acitretine is being widely used against psoriasis, just one pill daily. Some studies in research shows that potentially it could be used in lichen sclerosis cases, but again with skin thickening, because it slows down rapidly growing buildup of collagen or rapidly growing cells and reduces redness and swelling. I also found several articles that claim that acetretin is safe and effective for the management of severe and long-lasting lichen sclerosis of the male genitalia. Link to the article down below. Also, we have an interesting case of 74-year-old patient with severe lichen sclerosis who saw some improvements just in eight months of taking acetretin. 14 of 22 patients in another study also saw significant improvements in their condition. So guys with skin atrophy, unfortunately, this video is not for us, <laughs> but still, I hope you enjoyed it. So this is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some new information for you and I hope that this video will nudge you to start your own research on lichen sclerosis. If you find something new, please comment down below this video or any other video. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.